Hello and welcome to uh, another video. This is Dr. Guillemet trying to get you some good math training. And today we're doing a video that's a little bit different. All right. Um, so I just wanted to run through the ability to use this truth table generator. And I'm going to use some questions to show you how to do it. All right. Um, so here we go. Super quick. Is the following statement a self-contradiction? tautology or implication all right and they give you this lo symbolic logic all right now i'm actually going to re recommend a tool for you that helps with truth tables now you may need to be able to fill in truth tables but if you don't know what it's supposed to look like at the beginning this can help you and if you can use a tool to create truth tables if that's an option for you this is a great one so this truth table tr truth table generator is available at truthubengine.com. I don't even know how to pronounce that, but that's where it's at. If you type truth table generator into Google or Bing or whatever, it's usually the first thing that comes up. All right. So given this question, we can actually type the symbolic logic into the generator and determine if it is a self-contradiction, a tautology, or an implication. All right. So how am I going to do that? All right. So the idea here is um, we've got, you've got the and, you can type and, you've got the or, you can type or, you've got not, I like to use the little tilde, um, you have the exclusive or, we're not going to use this in my class, but if you need it for your class, there it is. The implication, I actually just like to use the little arrow because it looks like an arrow. Um, and then for equivalent, I don't use what looks like a biconditional. I actually just use the equal sign for equivalence. These are my preferences. You can try to do something else. So for our P if and only if Q and P if and only if not Q. Okay. So P if and only if is going to be equal to Q. And I'm just going to type in P if and only if is an equal sign not to Q. Okay, I'm going to close up the parentheses there. So you're going to see, right, the P if and only if Q and P if and only if not Q. P if and only if Q and P if and only if not Q. You do want to double check those. Generate. They're all false. Okay, so if they're all false right? It's a self-contradiction. Self-contradiction because all the values are false. Okay. So next question. Is the following statement a self-contradiction, a tautology, or an implication? All right. So we got something slightly different here. All right. We've got P and not P. And again, I like to use the little tilde for the not P. Is equal to Q and not Q. All right, so let's take a look. Right, you've got P and not P, which is here. If and only if, Q and not Q. All right, so perfect. And I hit generate. Now, P and not P is all false. That's a self contradiction. But Q and not Q is also all false. And so they are actually equivalent to each other. And we can see that from all of the straight T's. So those are equivalent to one another, and it is a tautology, tautology because all the values are true. All right, so it's a good job. All right, now finally, we're going to use the truth table to determine which of the following statements is equivalent to this P and Q and not Q. All right, now this would actually be super hard to work out on your own because there isn't a whole lot of, I mean, you could use a De Morgan's Law or Euler's Rule or something like that. But they actually give us four options in this particular homework assignment. And so we're actually going to put each option into the generator as an equivalent using the equal sign. Okay. So basically what I'm going to do, right, is take the P uh, and Q, P and Q and not Q. It's going to be equal to, and I might actually throw a set of parentheses around this, 
you probably don't have to because of the equivalence of the logic. Now, the first one is P and P or P and Q. P or P and Q. All right? So, again, I just want to take a look, right? P or P and Q. P or P and Q. It's got to be equivalent to this right here. So, I'm going to click on Generate. You can see two are false and two are true. So this is not an equivalence. For it to be an equivalence, they would all have to be true. So, nope. I noped it. All right. Now, what about P and not Q? Is it going to be equal to P and not Q? So let's go P and not Q. All right. I'm going to hit generate. There's a P and not Q. This is an or. This has to be or. Oh, oh, all true. Okay. So I did the or. I did the or. So I'm going to go back, right? I'm going to go back and just make sure that P or P and Q, P or um, P or P and Q. Close it up. Yes, yes. Generate. True. Uh, true, true, true. False. So it's because it's false, it's not an equivalence. All right. So it's still a no. And then this one, we do, we got it because this one's actually true. So the P and not Q. P and the P and not Q. Got to get rid of that. Is all true. And so that makes us happy. All right. So if this helps you, that's great, and it makes me happy, and uh, I hope you can go forward using this truth table generator.